that is a thief and let it be lying here let me just tell you one more story let us see what is the story behind losing all the teeth on his right side author gets even more irritated he says then come show me the plant he is building stories upon story he sees the live wild buck Hello, hi, namaste and welcome to Vidyashram, Temple of Excellence. I am Nanda Kishore, Faculty of English in Vidyashram, Mysore. In my previous session, I had discussed about Around a Medicinal Creeper, Session 1 and I had told you a lot of stories about Mara. Remember Mara? A very genius, inventive person who went on to build stories upon stories about Medicinal Creeper. So before I proceed further in session 2, let me just give you a recap about the previous session. In my previous session, I had told you that Poona Chandra Tejasvi was erecting a bamboo frame in order to save the coffee seed bed. So they had sent Sanna to the forest and while Sanna came back from forest with lots of creepers, Mara identified one of the creepers and is called it Sanna, you fool, why did you? cut this or why did you plug this up and Sanna informs Mara that there are a lot more creeper like this in the forest the similar ones and Mara just got curious and he took Sanna to the forest and while Purna Chandra Tejasvi was observing all this even he just follows both of them to the forest in the forest as soon as Sanna and Mara identify this creeper Mara will just take one of the tendrils and he will tie to the nearby plant saying that that is a thief and let it be lying here out of curiosity Tejasvi asks Mara where do you think this creeper will go and Mara tells that this is a thief and when you need it you will not be finding it and he goes on to tell a story that this creeper was just cursed by the sage and when you find it when you want it you will not find it for your dear life and then as the story moves on he goes on to tell a story about how he cuts his veins and how there will be a lot of blood on his cloth and how he goes to the doctor in Huli Hindalo and doctor decides to give away his entire plantation just for the sake of the plant remember the story I told you he just goes on to tell that he cut his veins and there was the blood spilling out so somehow he manages to pluck the leaves from the nearby plant and he covers the wound and he bandages it using lungi piece remember that and he goes to the doctor of Huli Indalu and he opens the wound and he finds no wound at all there is no blood nothing there is not even a sign of cut mark so Huli Indalu doctor was very curious and he confirms that was this the leaf that you used to cover your wound and he informs Mara that if you can identify this plant I will just give away my entire plantation both the doctor and Mara will come back to the same place they will try to identify but they fail miserably for this the doctor of Puli Indalu will just take his gun and he points at Mara and he tells if you are not going to identify the plant or if you are not going to tell me the truth I am going to shoot you right away for this Mara falls on doctor's feet and he begs not to shoot at him right and then the doctor just asks Mara to get out from here so that was the previous session recap and let me just tell you what happens later so let's start with today's session irritated author now as I told you now Mara is narrating this story to the author remember that Mara is just narrating the story on these stories to the author author gets irritated who is the author Purna Chandra Tejasvi now he gets irritated and he tells my dear Mara if you just went back if you had just gone back to the same place and if you had just searched in the nearby place where you had cut your hand or cut your veins you would have just got the plan you could have easily identified yours is nothing but just a cock and bull story yours is completely fabricated we know that you are lying and even after knowing that you are cooking up a story like this this is not fair author is totally irritated and he says when author was trying to tell all these to Mara Mara will come up with one more story the story of 
Mangus and Kokal. He goes on to tell the author, don't think that I am lying. There is a story actually. You know what? If Mangus and Kokal, Kokal is nothing but a bird which will almost reflect or which is similar to the crow, but it is not crow. Remember, it will have just a, a burgundy red color and a sort of red tail in its back. So that is Kokal. It will be seen in and around Mysore. If you just visit rural places in and around Mysore, you can easily see it. So he says, he continues saying that, don't think that I am telling you the false stories. I am not cooking up the stories. Let me just tell you one more story. Now this is story, very small story, not just big story. And he says, when Mangus and Kokal go for hunting the snakes and if they are bitten by the snakes, Mangus and Gokul will find this creeper and they will eat the leaves and cure themselves. Remember this story? Mangus and Gokul, both of them, they hunt snakes. And while they are hunting snakes, if they are bitten by the snake, both Mangus and Gokul somehow manages to find this creeper and they will chew the leaf and cure themselves. So that's how good this creeper is. Now again, author is irritated. Now, no teeth. What is this no teeth? Purna Chandra Tejasvi is listening stories after stories which is narrated by Mara. But he is wondering why Mara has no teeth on his right side. He has lost all the teeth on his right side. What is this mystery? Not just because Mara has grown old or maybe Mara is just old enough to lose his teeth. But why only one side? Now Tejasvi is questioning himself. Okay, and Mara had to achieve everything on his left side. Can you just imagine losing all the teeth on your right side and trying to chew something, tilting your head towards your left and trying to chew something on your left side? It looks so awkward, right? Let us see what is the story behind losing all the teeth on his right side. Now Tejasvi is very confused. He is in a dilemma and he is questioning himself, questions after questions. Why is this happening? Now is there something related to the creeper? All these things are just like a cobweb. Something is related to other and somehow it comes back to the creeper now. Tejasvi says that he had to chew everything on his left side. He was aged and perhaps they had fallen off naturally. But why only one side? Now he's questioning. I was curious. So who is I here? It is Tejasvi. Now Tejasvi will decide to ask Mara why he had lost all the teeth on his right side. So Tejasvi will go to Mara and one fine day he will ask why is that he has lost all his teeth on his right side. And Mara again he will come up with story. So let us see what is the story. Now he is narrating story number 2. What is the story number 1? Story number one is how he cut his hand and how he goes to the doctor of Huli in the loo. And story number two is small, which is about Mangus and Kaukal. But this is the main story number two. So what is this story number two? He goes on to narrate how he lost his teeth on his right side. It seems one day Mara had set a trap to catch rabbits. Remember how they catch rabbits in forest? So he had set a trap in the forest to catch the rabbit and early one morning he goes and checks if he had caught any rabbit or rabbits had been caught in the trap but unfortunately there was no rabbit in the trap so what he does he decides to go to the nearby stream and just freshen up himself so what he does he goes to the forest he checks the trap and there is no rabbit in the trap so what will he decide to do he just decides to go to the nearby stream, remember the stream, the flowing water and he decides that he is going to fresh up in that stream and as soon as he goes to the stream, he just plucks one of the branches from the nearby plant and he starts brushing his teeth and that's how people used to brush their teeth, even today they do, they use neem stick but in this case, Mara has just somehow plucked one of the sticks or one of the tendrils from the nearby plant and he just goes on to brush his right side and he starts brushing one, two and three. Remember, only three times. He just gets a sour feeling, sour taste. So before he could just try another stick, he decides to rinse his mouth. He just takes water, puts it in his mouth, rinses it and spits it out. 
Surprise or surprises? Why? Because all of his right side teeth had fallen out. So this was the story behind losing his all the teeth on his right side. And as the chapter goes on, the conversation builds between author and Mara. And Mara again says, thank God, I was saved because I had not brushed all the teeth. Otherwise, I would not have had any teeth left to eat even rice. He says, if I had just brushed even the left side, I would have eaten my rice without my teeth. I wouldn't have left even a single tooth. So that's how Mara is cooking up his story. For this, author rebuked him saying, hey Mara, if you want to tell lies, they must be at least be believable. How long will you fool people? We know that you are telling so much of lies. You are cooking up stories. But that doesn't mean just because we are listening, don't tell horrible stories. Don't try to convince with your false stories. Mara said to this, Mara says, can't you see that I have lost all those teeth? Can't you see? I don't even have a single tooth on my right side. I have to tilt my head or I have to just push all my food to the left side or either tilt or somehow manage to chew the food from my left side. As soon as Mara tells these words, author gets even more irritated. He says, then come, show me the plant. Oh, that is the case? You think that that plant was the cause behind losing your teeth, all your right side teeth? If that is the case, come, let us go to the forest and show me the plant. How can I show you that plant? There are hundreds of plants in the forest. You can do one thing, sir. You can try brushing your teeth with each of them. Mara is very clever now, right? And he is trying to say these words to author. He says, sir, you do one thing. You pluck each stick. You pluck stick from each of the plants and start brushing. Then we can find out which one has this effect. Now author gets even more irritated. Now he's frustrating. Why should I? Why should I try it? You want me to lose my teeth? Just because you have lost your teeth, you want me to lose my teeth as well? I'm not going to do it. He says, why should I? You are the one who is lying. So you have to brush your teeth with all those plants and discover the right one. Author is even more clever. And he says, I'm not going to do it. You are the one who is lying now. I want you to check by yourself. My God. Mara says, my God, you want me to try all those thousand plants? There are so many plants in the forest. I won't live long enough to try each and every one of them. I'm not going to be alive until then. I've grown old now. And maybe until and unless I try each and every plant, I won't be alive. By the time I try 100, maybe I will be dead. Who knows? Hey, Mara, if you keep trying. Now, author is very jovial here. He uses... A bit of jovial mood in this chapter and he says he wants to pull Mara's leg so he says hey Mara if you keep trying out different ones you may find one which is going to make your teeth come back he says you may find one anyway after trying one you have lost all your right side teeth if you keep trying different ones who knows you might get a plant you might get a stick which will bring back all your teeth how can I say which type of plant I will stumble upon? Just my bad luck. If I get one which kills me? Sir, you are talking about getting my teeth back. But what will happen to my dear life? Who knows how? what sort of dangerous plants are there? What if I just pluck one of the sticks from one of the plants and start brushing immediately it kills me? I, I will be dead. I don't want to be dead. Think about it. Mara is an old laborer, old farm hand in Purna Chandra Tejasvi's estate and he says that still have that feelings that he wants to live long enough and he says what if I kill myself after trying out this plant I don't want to be dead then why are you asking me to try Tejasvi is trying to pull his leg and he says oh you want me to be dead you don't want to die yourself and you want me to try those plants and what if I kill myself because you are the one who is accusing me of lying. I am not just asking you to die yourself. I don't want you to go and try all these plants and creepers. No, don't do that. 
I am just telling you to go to the forest and try because you are accusing me. Because you are accusing me of lying. You are not believing my words. You are not believing my stories. Suppose you come upon the one that will bring back your youth. Say this is asking. Let us imagine, for instance, I know there is no such plant which will bring back your youth. But let us assume, what will you do if any of the creeper you try out will bring back your youth? What if you become young? He says, I don't even want that. I don't want to become young. I don't want to go back to my youth. If I become young, I have to marry again. He says that, I, want, I don't want to marry any anybody else i have already seen hell i don't want to go back and remarry and relive the hell maybe that is his intention let that be now again he says ah oh, sir forget about all this becoming youth and losing life and getting back my teeth and everything let that be but don't think that such a plan does not exist he says there is a plan which can get back your youth just don't think that, you know, just because you are old or just because I am old, we cannot grow back to youth or we cannot go back to youth. Don't think like that. There is a plant. It exists. He says that. Does not exist in our forest. He said and told me another story. Now, he is building stories upon story. Mara is a clever narrator. He goes on giving instances. Somehow, he just finds link. To tell the story, the story after story, the story after story. Let us see what is the story now. Story number three. Remember this first story is about cutting his hand and going to the doctor of Huli in the loop. Story number two was how he set trap in the forest to catch rabbit, and the story about losing his right side teeth. And now he is narrating story number three. Let us see what is story number three. As you can see, this is the wild buck. It is also called barking deer, right? It barks like a dog. So, it has multiple names, wild buck or barking deer. Remember this, you need to remember the stories. Don't forget this. This stories could be asked for four marks in your examination. Now, let us see what story Mara will narrate. It seems one day Mara and his friend had set a trap and they went for hunting and they will somehow try to catch the barking deer they will catch it so what what do they do they want to divide the meat between themselves so they will just take this barking deer to the running stream and they will just skin it cut the meat and they will equally distribute the meat between both of them and how do they carry this meat to their home they will pluck the leaf in the nearby plant they will wrap all these meat in this leaves and they will carry it to the home and uh, once Mara goes to home now Mara's wife and Mara they decide to cook this meat so what do they do they take the spices they take masala and they just keep the water to boil and as the water was boiling Mara will open this package of meat surprise of surprises now this is the biggest surprise you need to be very attentive this is the biggest surprise and what, what does Mara, Mara see there in the packet? There is a packet. He opens and surprise. What does he see? He sees the live wild buck. The meat has come back to life. And not just the meat there, not just half of the meat. There is a whole buck. The real deer has come to life. And what is it doing here? Remember the meat? Mara and his friend had divided that meat has come back to life and as soon as Mara sees this he just dumps out and runs out of the house and Mara just gets busy catching that wild bug as usually Mara's wife will just take all the leaves lying leaves and she will throw the leaves into the fire where is she throwing she is throwing the leaves to the fire that is the third story that Mara narrates to Purna Chandra Tejasvi. Now let us see in the next session what happens and how Purna Chandra Tejasvi responds to this story and in next session I will be explaining lot many stories about Mara. Let us meet in the next session. Until then have a good day.